And as we mentioned, we have this breaking news. ISIS militants have released a video purporting to show a captive Jordanian pilot being burned alive. This only days after they, of course, beheaded the Japanese journalist. The case is something that Secretary of State Kerry has been dealing with. He apparently was not aware of these late reports when he spoke here in Washington with the Jordanian visiting foreign minister. People of Jordan need to know that all Americans will join with them in praying for the early and safe return of Lieutenant Muaz al Qasad Bey. And we call upon his captors uh, to release this brave man so that he could return to his family and his homeland to at least provide uh, proof of life. MSNBC terrorism analyst Evan Coleman joins me now by phone. Evan, as we know, the Jordanians had been demanding proof of life before they would release the woman, the attempted suicide bomber, who had been held since 2005 on death row in Jordan. They were, they were willing to release her. What do you make of this tape? Have you been able to analyze it? Well, look, I mean, one of the things about the video is this, is aside from the, the sheer brutality of, of what's shown in there, is, is that the video is extremely high production quality. Um, even assuming that this, this video was created by several different individuals, it couldn't have been produced overnight. So uh, more than likely, even if, if this pilot was only murdered yesterday, they were preparing for this in advance. And the video is, I mean, it, it's interesting, is the video, it's pretty clear what the message in the video is. The message is to the, uh, the various different Arab nations that are supporting the effort in Syria and in Iraq that if they continue to do this, that this is going to be the fate of their pilots. And it's an attempt to dissuade them from continuing to be part of this coalition. And it's, it's remarkably specific about which countries it's, it's targeting. So I, I think one of the questions will be whether this will have that kind of an impact. So far, you know, you've heard from the Jordanians and others saying that they're, they're not going to be, you know, cowed by this. But uh, the video itself is tremendously brutal and, and uh, it's difficult to watch.